What happened? Were you in a supermarket and somebody stabbed you with keys? Uh, it wasn't keys. Was that a knife? But they said it was. They said it was, he got away with it as keys, but it was an actual knife. I remember that? Just see it in my see my. Um, I was um, my girlfriend at the time. I just gone for. Um, I just went for a run. A six, even no long, I believe, ran a six mile run, and it was in Toftwood in Durham, uh, Norwich, and I ran back to her house and she lived right next to a, a co-op or whatever it was and I thought I'm going to go and get a drink so I was thirsty so I walked in and there was a guy effing and blinding and screaming at the ladies behind the counter and there was quite a few people in there as well and women and children and stuff and oh man I was just lit I thought the the actual some of the things he was saying I just I just lost my I just lost my marbles I thought you can't talk to people like that it's just not on so I just he come by the he came by the door and I just ran up to him and I just grabbed grabbed him by the grabbed him by his throat and just chucked him out the door I said, don't you dare speak to people like that again I, I'm not I'm not an odd guy at all I can't stand fighting I hate confrontation but that guy yeah what he was doing was doing my head in. So I just chucked him out and then he came badging back. He pushed the door back in. I turned around and he had one of those, it was like an oval plastic thing with a thing you push out and there's a blade. And he just went, and just bang, sliced down there on my chest. And then I didn't feel it. And I turned around and I saw my girlfriend at the time. She just went, ah, just a screaming, crying, fell to the floor. And I was like, what? And then it was blood everywhere. And I thought, oh shit. And uh, that was, oh, yeah, that was, oh, that was, that was pretty heavy at the time because, you know, you just think you're going to, any minute now I'm going to go to sleep. And uh, the women in the shop calls an ambulance and one of them came up and they gave me a, um, a, a tea towel to try and, I, did I wrap it around my neck and tie, tie it on, I'm going to strangle myself. Uh, it was just put on that anyway to stop the bleeding. And I think it, it literally just missed my juggler. Is it the juggler? It's yeah. so close to it. Mm -hmm. So he's put it on there. And then I just sat down to this. She gave me a seat and I sat down. And I just was just, honestly, I was just waiting to go to sleep. I thought, any minute, I'm just gone. I'm a goner. And then I was there for quite a while until the ambulance came. I thought, well, if I've been here all this time, it should be all right. Anyway, the ambulance came. I got in the ambulance. And then they took me to the hospital in Norwich. And when you're in that situation, you look at other people's faces. I was really calm. I was quite surprised how calm I was, considering I thought I was going to die. But I kept looking at other people's faces, and you can tell by the look of their face how bad it is because people do that. Or and when I got to the hospital, they took it off. I saw some. Some of the doctors and nurses give a bit of one of those looks. I thought, oh, that's really bad. Anyway, I was fine. I was good, obviously, because I'm still here. They did a load of internal stitches, uh, external stitches. Just somebody there on my chest. And uh, then I went and just relaxed. Then I my grow my girlfriend's house at the time and then went to court. And the guy got five years. And he could have been dead. Oh, I could, well, easily, I mean, it's your neck. All the stuff that you've been through, all the stunts, all the madness with Dirty Sanchez and try to help women in a supermarket before you know you could have been fucking dead. What year was this? Um, good question. 2006, 2007, something like that. So it's, it's about 2008. So at the height of your career, at the height of Dirty Sanchez and all the fame, attention. Yeah, but just, it wasn't the height height, but it was yeah, still pretty, it was still well, yeah, still pretty well known, uh -huh. so yeah. But, yeah, and that's taught me lessons. Don't, I mean, it's sad really, you should be able to get involved in stuff mm -hmm. like that because, but then um, it also taught me to be careful and watch. Yeah, that nobody's on. Think yeah. before you do something. Mm -hmm. How does that make you reassess your life? At the time, I was like, you know, stuff like that happens. Thinking, well, I could, I shouldn't be here. I should be dead because if he, if he hit that wrong nerve, I would have, I would have been gone. So I, 
at the time I thought, yeah, I'm just feel extremely lucky to still be be here and be able to do what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know if it, I wouldn't know if it's really affected me mentally or over the years. Maybe <laughs> well, I was mental to start with. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to I'd have to speak to professionals or something. But if yeah, if, it, if it has done something to me mentally and yeah, no doubt it would have like nearly dead. Like I mean, when I'm when I've when now you've brought it up and mentioned it, I, I have gone a bit. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not only just leaving your loved one at a time; it's your mother and everyone else in your life that comes through your mind. Did you have any flashes or did anything? Like, did you think, fuck? Like, did you see a light or was it? No, because just... I, I didn't see a light because I wasn't. I wasn't on my way out. Mm-hmm. I mean, in my head, I thought I was because I knew it was on my neck and my missus screaming on the floor. And that only says to me, there's a really bad cut and everyone else coming over to me and putting it in and going. Uh. But um, no, I just remember being really peaceful. I remember being so, so calm. fucking calm. It was weird. Like I should have been like, you would have thought you'd be panicking, wouldn't yeah. you? I thought, fuck, I'm going to die. But I was just so, like, just sat there. Just concentrate that, concentrate and think of the light in a bug well, but they, did, they didn't. Yeah. So. Probably saved your life though, being calm. You yeah. bled to death, or you, being calm's probably saved your life. Could could have, yeah. Yeah. I mean, who knows? But um, yeah, fair play to the ambulances and the doctors and stuff, they didn't have to do a good yeah. job.